Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing expected value given the CDF. Let's suppose that x is a random variable with CDF f of x and we'll plot the CDF the x-axis, here's the f of x-axis. Between 0 and 1, the CDF will be 0. And between 1 and 2, it will jump up to the value of 1 quarter. Between 2 and 3, it will jump up to the value of a half. And between 3 and 4, it will jump up to a value of 1. It'll stay 1 forever. So this is my CDF. Remember that CDFs need to be right continuous. So just note, CDFs are right continuous. Meaning that when I do the limit, as x approaches a from the right, of my CDF f of x, I have to get f of a. And that makes sense over here. So that's why all of the closed dots are on the far right. Now let's compute for this random variable the expected value of x. Well, what do we know? We know that when x is between 0 and 1, the probability is 0, and as soon as x hits the value 1, the, probabil the probability is going to be a quarter up until 2. So, the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 is f of x when x is equal to 1 and this will be equal to f of 1 and we see that f of 1 is equal to a quarter and if we're st anything strictly less than 1 we'll be at 0 so the value the, f the random variable takes on the value of 1 with probability equal to a quarter so the probability that x is equal to 1 is one quarter. Then we have this jump at two, so we can compute the same thing. The probability that x is less than or equal to two is f of two, and f of two, we see from this graph, is going to be one half, which means the probability that x equals two is also equal to a quarter. And finally, the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 is f of 3, and that is 1. And this tells us that the probability that x is equal to 3 is equal to 1 half. Now I can compute the expected value. The expected value of x is going to be x, the sum, over x such that we have x times the probability that x is equal to x since these conditions imply that the random variable x is discrete. And so what we'll have here is we're going to have 1 times the probability that x equals 1 plus 2 times the probability that x equals 2 plus 3 times the probability that x equals 3. Now, this is a quarter, so this is going to be 1 quarter. This is going to be 2 quarters, and this is going to be 3 halves. And 3 halves is 6 quarters, so I have 6 quarters, 2 quarters, and 1 quarter. That's going to be a total of 9 quarters. And that is the expected value of this random variable. So from the graph of the CDF, we can see that the function, 
the random variable x is a discrete random variable, and then we can compute the expected value as normal. Thank you very much.